Hey there guys, welcome back to ToyNotes.com. I'm Kelsey and today things are about to get electrifying. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. So today we're playing a logic game using electric currents with the circuit maze game. This is supposed to be a brain teaser, so bear with me if smoke starts coming out of my ears. But you're supposed to be able to use these pieces and uh, use small electric current to get from beginning to end in certain challenges. Um, there's 60 challenges from beginner to expert, and it's rated for kids 8 to 99. So if you're a kid at heart, this might just be for you. I love logic games, so let's get right into it. That way we can play. So, super easy unboxing. Um, I took the shrink wrap off ahead of time and then I just opened it up. This is your circuit board. And then inside, I haven't even got all these out yet, but these are your little electric current blocks and your, your little cards. Oh, and there's more blocks down there. So. Um, I think I have to put some batteries in something to get this started. So I'm going to finish getting this unboxed and bring you guys in for a closer look so we can learn to play it together. Okay, guys. So Circuit Maze, the electric current logic game. Pretty easy. We're just going to open her up here. And inside you're going to have one board, several cards, instructions, and then all these little plastic and metal pieces that you actually use. Now for each puzzle you'll have to have the start and end piece. This is your end piece and this is your start piece. And it requires three AAA batteries which you can see inside. So to get started, once that's done, you can pick a card. Now they're ranging from beginner to intermediate to easy. And this is a beginner, so you've got a beginner card that shows the challenge. It wants to start an end piece and it wants to, you to build a circuit, only adding to the grid a green piece and some of the gray um, pieces. Now, if you get stumped, the backs have the solutions on how to create the circuit just until you learn how to use it. So we're gonna build this one here. First, I'm gonna take my board and I'm going to place my start piece and my end piece. Now the start and end piece have positive and negative charges and the charge comes out here on the side with the positive and ends here on the negative side. So if you take some of the conductor pieces, just these little gray plastic and metal pieces, you're going to start being able to build a grid. Now, there's no other metal pieces that you're going to see, so it said we could add the green piece. This is your green piece, and it has a light, and you know you've actually figured it out when the light turns on. So, I'm going to build my grid like this. So, I'm going to set my green piece in the middle because it's touching the positive charge, and it's touching the positive charge on the green piece. So, now I need a negative. Now, these are pretty neutral, so you can set them any way you like. That's why the gray pieces are kind of nice. I'm going to say, let's do this little straight piece. Let's do a curve here. A curve here. Um, let's see here. This little T-bone piece is going to be perfect because it'll complete the circuit here. But we still haven't connected to our end piece, so we're going to have to keep working. Let's go with another curved piece and a straight piece, which will end the circuit. Do you see how the light turned on? See that? So that means that we have created an electrical circuit going from the positive charge and we've connected it to the negative charge and we figured out the solution. Now, is that what the back of the card said? Yep, more or less, we did it a little bit of our own way, but we still got the light on. See how it's just a little bit different? bring it in a little closer. See how it's just a little different, but not too much. So we did it. Now there's at least 60 of those in here. And I'm going to bet by the time you get to the expert, you'll be making all kinds of crazy mazes for yourself because you've got lots of other pieces. You could add the red light piece. So if we took out this part, the light turns off. What happens if we add the red one? Woohoo! We've got two lights, means we've got a good complete circuit on both ends. 
So as you can see, you can get this going more in depth and more in depth. You can use the cards to help, you can freestyle it, but all in all, you're just learning about how electrical current works and using your mind to fix the problem. Well guys, that's it for us today, playing with the Circuit Maze board game. I loved using my noggin along with you to learn about electrical currents, completing circuits, and avoiding the dreaded short circuit. The instruction manual was really cool because it did teach a lot about electrical currents and how they work. And then having the cards go from beginner to expert really does increase the longevity of this game. On top of it being a super reasonable price, I really don't think you can go wrong with this one. This one has an A plus in my book. So until next time, guys, make sure you check us out at toynotes.com. That way you're not missing out on any of the fun we're having over here. Give us a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you can be here next time. And until then, see you soon.